Hey guys. All right. So I have been dying to get into my art journal. And I know I just did one not too long ago about my son, which was this one. But I paper pieced her. And I bought the stamp about mm, two years ago. And I've never used it. So it's time to get it used. And I thought, oh, I'm dropping stuff. It was for thinking. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, but I feel the need to play. So we're going to play. And I think I'm going to try Gesso because although her paints work amazing, I think I want to break out my Ken Oliver paints. So I'm just going to do a quick white layer of gesso and try, I'm trying not to let my OCD panic about the other pages below or before. I just want to go. So if I get gesso on other pages, it's cool. Gotta learn to be okay with it. So I'm just trying to do this quick and sloppy with OCD kicking in at the same time. So what are you guys doing? Man, I am really sad that I missed out on the 60% off on the washes. Do you guys get a good haul on those? I've been seeing a lot of amazing hauls on the 60% washies. I really wanted that box. But I didn't sell any of my D-Stash. <laughs> Nobody wanted journaling cards, apparently. So, yeah, that's all right. It'll happen again. It'll happen again. I'm using my new brushes that I got from Target. They seem to be working pretty well. I like it so far. I like the fact that the bristles aren't coming out. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I paint with a brush and I have to fight to get the bristles off the page. Oh, I didn't grab my Ken Oliver things out. You guys seeing this okay? All right, just checking. So, but anyways, what are you guys up to? What are you guys making? What are we doing? My buddy Kimmy is making this huge, huge wedding album. <laughs> you ever do one of those projects and in your mind it sounds like a phenomenal, amazing idea? And then you get into it and you're like, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? What was I thinking when I thought about this project? Yeah, she's kind of having one of those projects right now. She's making a massive, oh, it's like eight and a half by like 11 or something like that. It's huge. So yeah, she's kind of having one of those thoughts. She knows it's going to be worth it in the end. We all, I think we all get to that point where we're like, okay, I made it this far. I might as well just keep going. I just realized, did I get, I must have gotten green or something on the next page because I see green. Can't can't let it get me. Can't let it get me. I gotta keep going. Keep going. And I'm gonna try to do another two page spread if I can get my words out. Jeez Louise. Um, because I actually really enjoyed that last one. I didn't I didn't know how I was gonna feel about two page spreads. They made me nervous. They still make me nervous. But I really enjoyed that last one, so we're gonna do it again. Hopefully it doesn't take me three hours to get there. This gesso's not spreading as well as I thought it would. That's all right. It's all good. Got a little bit of water on it. Because why not? Maybe just need to wet down the brush a little bit. So, Saturday is cleanup day in our house. And I have to say that I am one proud mommy. Because little Scarlet scrubbed the toilet. With help, of course. I didn't let her do it by herself. And my son, I taught my son how to clean a shower. I told him, I said, you gotta get naked, you gotta get dirty, dude. <laughs> He's like, you what? I'm like, yeah. Turn the shower water on, get naked, and start scrubbing. He looked at me like I was nuts. He's like, are you kidding me right now? I'm like, no, you need a shower anyway. Make sure it's the last thing you clean. So he did it. He got down, took his skivvies off, and jumped right in. Man, I was really proud of him. 
he's so funny. He's like, Mom, can you can you see if I'm done? Like, he he's going through that phase that I think all children go through eventually. But especially because he's a boy, he doesn't want me seeing any private parts. So he gets all nervous and he gets all shy and he covers himself. And then I have to, I have to wait until he covers himself with the lupa. And then I'm allowed to open the door to see the base of the bathtub. Because I don't have a bathtub. It's just a stand-in shower. So I, I was like, can I open the door yet? No, not yet. I have to get my lupa. <laughs> and it's so funny to me. And it's funny because I remember going through that awkward phase with my mom. Where my mom would just walk in as I was changing. And I thought it was weird. I'm like, dude, you're not supposed to see me naked anymore. This is, you need to get out. You need to wait till I'm done. So I remember going through that phase, but I wasn't as young as he is. I was probably about 13 or 14, and my mom used to walk in my room. Because, you know, her being hearing impaired, it's not like she could knock on the door and wait for me to say okay. You know, she just walk right in. So, yeah. So that's how our Saturday went. We did three loads of laundry. Which is pretty impressive for me, because if you know anything about me, um, my back doesn't like stairs. My back doesn't like bending at all in any way, shape, or form. And, uh, yeah, so I was able to make it up and down the stairs a few times, which was awesome. Jonah helped me out a lot. My poor son. He's going to make someone a really good husband, I can tell you that right now. Let me go grab... I, I don't have... A washcloth. Two seconds. Okay, that was definitely longer than two seconds, but there's one of my washcloths. Let me grab my Ken Oliver. I will say moved him. Did I move him? Tell me I didn't move him. Oh, good. They're still here. Okay. I've been dying to play with these. I've played with them a few times, but not as much as I would like to. So, we're going to break these bad boys out. I don't want to leave this brush in here. It's a brand new brush. It's still really pretty. It cleans up really nice. Really nice. All right. That's awesome. Okay. So, we'll leave that over there. I'm going to dry this bad boy off just as much, well, as much as I can anyway. Oh, that's obvious as to what. Just kidding. It's okay. That's texture. I want to make sure it's completely dry because I'm going to add water to it. I don't want to dry it too much on the other side because the other side's already decorated. And it's not warping, which is kind of cool, so that's good. Let's see how it does with the water. Alright, done with that. Now game plan is to have her over here kind of doing her own little thing thinking the world is but a canvas to the imagination by Henry David Thoreau Thoreau I'm not trying to pronounce that but I bought it on clearance and I really like it so I'm for thinking I'm gonna do some blue 
Oh, that's going to be a lot. Let's do some blue in this little patchy area behind her head, where her head's going to go. Let me do some purple. Now, I don't know about the whole color wheel thing. I'm probably going to screw all this up. Not going to lie. The colors are probably going to turn to mud. You do not need this much. I think I'm putting way too much on here. I think I'm going to do the green down below. go. And here comes the fun part. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, check it out. Tell me those aren't fun. That is so cool. Okay, I'm going to swirl it. I don't want to swirl it too much. Okay, I don't want these falling all over the place, but I need to be able to move my page. Oh, I love that purple and blue. Check that out. No, I don't want you going on the next page. Come this way, buddy. Okay. Tip it up that way just a little bit. Try to kind of maneuver it so it goes where I want it to go instead of where it wants to go. I'm just gonna douse this. Oh, look at how vibrant that color is. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You ready? I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Ready, set, go. <gasps> don't panic. It's gonna ooze out the sides. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> Coloring the back side. My folder's now been colored. It's okay, it's okay, breathe, breathe, it's all good. I will make that work into the next page somehow. I don't know how, oh, I got it all over my stamp. <laughs> this stuff is fun. It's very messy. Okay, time for the reveal. Ready, set, go. Oh, how cool is that? Love it. Okay, now. This is the reason why, because Miss Marissa <laughs> reminded me that I need to use paper towels to soap up everything, so that way I can use the paper towels in my next project. So I went out to the dollar store and I got specifically white paper towels just so I can do that. Okay, and I want, let me see here, I don't want to brush it, but at the same time I need some color down here. I don't want it to look like it's brush stroked. Does that make sense? Let's see if I spray a little water over here. What'll happen? Not not much. That's okay, I'm getting color down here and that's what I wanted. Oh my gosh, that looks so neat. And that did not take much at all. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to daub some of this up in the center here. So from what I understand, this book leaks. So whatever you have dribbling down the center, it'll go down to the rest of your pages. And I don't want to soak up too much. I really like how this turned out. Super cool. Awesome. Okay, and I can see my page is getting a little tender there. It might crack. It's well, I mean it's already cracking. That's okay. Alright, let me dry this bad boy off. Oh, tipping paper towels.
Okay. And then I am thinking. What am I thinking? I have so much stuff stacked everywhere around me. It's just all over the place. Anybody else like that? I have some green. I think I want the brighter green. And a little bit of the purple. looking for guys. This is a bad thing about not planning ahead. Is that you never know what you're looking for. Okay, so maybe we'll use those three colors. And let's do that's not what I'm looking for. Let's do let's do some scripty words. Let's do some of that. Guy, and I think I want to do it down. Oh, uh, do I want to do it down for like the grass, or do I want it up by her head so it looks like she's got random thoughts? I think I want to do random thoughts. Oh, okay. I do not like this stuff. Mental note to self I need to buy it in the tub because this just sucks. Oh, it takes two hands to push it through. You have to hold it. So I'm just gonna literally randomly scrape this on here. And pick that up. And I think I want it going up this way. I'm only gonna do it on this one side. Well, no. I think maybe I'll stamp my stamp down so I'll know if I put this here, I can put this over here. And I apologize if you guys can hear my TV in my um, bedroom. My daughter is in there laying down watching TV. She might be sleeping. Last time I looked at her, it looked like she was pretty, pretty well asleep. Okay. Oh, this page is still a little wet. Still a little damp. So, because I went so low, well, on this side, let me drag it. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll come down this way. You can't put it back in the bottle, that's for sure. Okay. She's going to go here. The stamp can go here. I like how it's kind of going around her. So, let me, what am I doing? Do I ever know what I'm doing? No. The correct answer to that is no. I never know what I'm doing. Okay. That. Grab these. Let's start this off. Well, let me clean that off in a second. I don't want to clean that up on there because, you know what, we got to scoot just a little bit. Thanks, bud. I love this, this, this stamp. I love this stencil and hate the stencil at the same time because my little words keep getting caught on the baby wipes. And that kind of sucks because then I rip the stencil and I don't want to rip the stencil. Oh, that was kind of weird. TV went silent. No. Oh, she must be watching a recording or something. Okay, I think I'm good. 
Sorry guys, I know it's boring to watch me clean. But as you can see, if you don't do it right away, it looks worse. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Let me clean out this bad boy. So that way it's not stuck. Good there. Toss that. This needs to go back in here. I really like how the words are. And because there was pink dilution paint on my stencil, my um, script came out kind of. All right, cooperate here. Came out kind of pink. All right. So, okay, Marissa, here we go. I'm using the Perfect Pearls Mist Grape Fizz. She wanted to know how these work. We'll find out together, shall we? I'm going to do a little bit up here. Ooh, that's really light. That does not look as dark as I thought it was going to be. Mm. It's all good. I just want the stenciling to stand out a little bit. There's that one, and this one's probably going to be as light as the other one. This one is the sour apple. Let me do this down here. Yeah, it's pretty light. Maybe if I just let them sit. See, I like how it's kind of outlining the words there. Now this is Lindy Stamp Gang, um, Tiffany Lou's Blues. Oh, that one's really light, too. What am I doing, man? I wanted bright colors. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see what else I got. What else is in here? I've got... I want to stay with the purple, blue, green feel that I got going on. I don't like how this is mudding up, but that's all right. This is Bachelor Button Blue. I know this one's pretty bright. Yeah, the spray's funny, but that's all right. It's all good. I don't want to cover up all of my... Um, oh, this is one of my favorite colors. I don't want to cover up all of the Ken Oliver Bursts, if that makes sense. I just want to add to it. This one is Sweet Violet Purple Teal. This is like one of my favorite colors. If you like purple, this is your color. It's like a purplish pink. I love it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I like how I'm kind of... I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like they're soaked. Like the words are soaked into the splotches. If that makes sense? Kind of, sort of, maybe? Not really? Okay. I tried. All right. I'm looking for... Let's find a good green. What are you? Bells of Ireland Green. That sounds good. Let's try this one. Do it right here in this corner. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking for for down here. Okay. And I feel like I need a little something something right here. So let's do... No, not red. Shabby Turbine Teal. Does that sound good? Let's try that one. Don't know until you try it. Okay. And these bottles I bought off of eBay. It was like a hundred of them for like 20 bucks or something like that. And then I got a really good buy on the um, Magicals. So I bought a whole bunch of Magicals from joannes.com a while ago. I don't want that soaking into the center there. And so now I just kind of make my own Lindy Stamp Gang sprays, if that makes sense. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Okay, let me soak up this side a little bit more. So I like how that stands out. And I'm going to do this one. I was looking for my Frankenstein green. I have a really cool Frankenstein green color in there somewhere. And no, I just used that one. What was up here? This one. Is it this one? We'll find out. If not, too late. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit. And I'm going to dry it. Kind of at a distance because I don't really want the color to spread. So this might take a while. And I'm going to sop up some of this green because I don't like where it's going. It's kind of turning into that muddy yet. Which means I need to replace color here. That's all good. I really 
really like this green, so I'm going to throw this one down. There we go. No, I don't want you going that way. No more. There we go. I don't want it seeping off to other pages, so let me just scoop this guy right here, because that page is already done. Don't touch it. That's the boys' page. The screen keeps running. Come back down. I think I just want it to kind of look like random thoughts around her. Does that make sense? And with it being splotchy where the words are, to me it just kind of looks like clouds, I guess. It's kind of what I was thinking, kind of going for, something like that. I'm okay with running some of that green off there. Sorry, I know, watching paint dry is boring. Almost done here, I think. This section's pretty much done, so that's good. Let's keep coming over this way. Oh, don't stick your hand in front of it, that would burn. That would not be smart. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. Less and less is moving. So I'm getting closer and closer to the page. say I really 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 like see how these words are kind of popped out and these words are kind of popped out this section right here looks like it needs a little help so before I dry it all completely I need a different blue you did the bachelor blue uh, what about hydrangea blue do I want blue there do I have enough blue up there maybe I should do purple I don't know. Okay, so we'll do some blue on the side. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Something to outline the words. And then, do I have a purple? I have to have a purple. Let's call this... Let's try this one. This one is... Ba -ba, French Lilac Violet. Let's try this one. Oh, these sprayers don't like me. what it is they're all like clogged I'm actually thinking about transferring them all to the other um, these bottles they don't clog I haven't had a problem with any of them so that's been really nice but these I can't I can't seem to get these to unclog for some reason it's kind of driving me crazy okay but with this I can kind of control it so that's kind of cool uh, don't move my modeling paste come on now be nice and I can feel I'm getting purple all over my fingers right now, which is cool. Because it just means I'm getting down and dirty. Yep. It's all good. I used to freak out about my hands being messy, and then I realized, you know what? Your hands are your cheapest tool. First off, they come with the body. And second off, eventually everything's going to wash off anyway. So what am I freaking out about? It's not like I won't eventually get the paint off of me, right? 
cheapest tools ever. Okay, let me dry off this middle section here. I like how it's outlined more. Oh, start up, start up. Start up higher. The wire's all up in the way. <laughs> it's all in my face. Okay, I like how that's a little more intense. I think is the word that I'm looking for. Oh, I just dribbled it off. Darn you. Just trying to chase it back. Right. I think I'm good with that. It's not 100% dry, but that's okay. But you know what? It took the color beautifully. So I think the tip to this is gesso because before, when I was trying to use like other paints and stuff and they wouldn't move, I didn't gesso the page beforehand. So I kind of like her standing there thinking, right? She pops off the page. And then I'm going to stamp this guy over here on this side. So let me grab my memento ink. And again, this stamp's never been used. Which is so sad because it's a really cute stamp. And I don't care if it's not perfect because it doesn't need to be. Okay, then let me just take this and drop it here. Give it a minute to soak in all that goodness. Good. That looks good. I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, glue her down. I'm going to use my broad tip glue pen and close my heart. Love this pen. Okay, then let me just stand her up over here. Something like that. Well, I don't know how well it's going to work with the water underneath it. Anybody have allergy issues right now? Because my allergies are going crazy. It's really rather annoying. Okay, so there's that. Bam. That's done. And then I want to make this kind of, I don't know if this is going to work. Kind of sketch it into. Now, I am no artist, so don't judge my cloud. It's just meant to be something she's thinking. Oh no, I smeared the oh, darn it. Okay, I apparently did not let that dry enough. Because I have no patience for anything ever, apparently. That's kind of cool looking. Kind of smeared it to where it's like a dreamy type word, if that makes sense. Okay. 
I'll just fill in the blanks. Kind of scribble like. Again, with this one, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for a young lady thinking about art and just creating and having fun with it and realizing that the whole world is just a blank canvas ready and waiting to be loved and painted and colored. And of course, I just stuck my hand on this one. I'm a genius like that. Let's fix this one, shall we? There we go. Let me draw it up this way. I was still not feeling the cloud up here. It looks too straight, if that makes sense. I want it to have like jagged lines to it. No straight lines for me. All right, that's it. I think I'm done. Okay, and then amongst the white cloud, if I can, I don't know. Maybe I can add little white stitchy lines or something. worry about them being perfect. Okay. So they're kind of blending in, but that's all right. And then, let me clean that tip off real quick. Mm -mm. That's not going to work. I need to use my black one. Let's use the skyline again.
Okay, so I just did a bunch of scribbly journaling there, and it says, remind yourself that the world needs more messy painters. More messy painters than perfection. Love yourself for all that you are, and your art will show for itself how talented you truly can be. Forget the rules and just let your mind go free. Will I be able to read that in a week? Probably not. I kind of just literally scribbled. <laughs> But that's okay. I got it out on a page, and there it is. So, I'm calling that one done. I like it. I really like the smush part. That was fun. It was nice to see the reveal, because I wasn't sure how that one was going to go. But, I like it. So, 41 minutes. Not too shabby. It's under my hour. So, um, I'm thinking about doing a mini, just for the heck of it. See if I can sell one. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking maybe Halloween. You know, because Halloween's right around the corner. I have a ton of Disney stuff left. So I might do a Disney one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see the next time I hit record. So thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope you guys like the page. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!